my main concern is that in your testimony, you stated that Vice President Dick Cheney came into the, um, was it the e POEC yeah, office at, at 9.20 when you arrived and he was already there. He's gone in front of Meet the Press and he said that he was there at 9.38. They did that because uh, they'd received a report that an airplane was headed for the White House. This is Flight 77, Turned which had left to be Dulles. Flight 77. It left Dulles. It's best uh, we can tell, uh, they came initially at the White House. The plane actually circled the White House? Didn't circle it, but was headed on a track into it. Tracking it? it by radar. And uh, when it entered the, the danger zone and looked like it was headed for the White House was when they grabbed me and evacuated me to the basement. The plane obviously didn't hit the White House, turned away and, and we think flew a circle and came back in and then hit the Pentagon. Yeah, the 9-11 Commission report puts in there at 9.58 that morning. 58? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you got a chance to read it, but it puts no. in half an hour later. So I don't mean to ask a rhetorical yeah. question, but to the best of your recollection, was Vice President Dick Cheney already oh, there at absolutely. The flight you're referring to is the The one flight that came into the Pentagon. Pentagon. This was um, before, 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 before um, American Airlines went into the Pentagon. Yeah. Norm Mineta, uh was in the bunker with Cheney. And so that, the fact that that wasn't in the 9-11 Commission report was rather odd, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, who was that young man? Did anybody ask who that young man was? 